Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening a bit to my panels my name is Akmal Hakim bin Azizi so my project for this semester PSM is to design and fabricate rollover warning device for army trucks my supervisor is IRTS Dr. Muhammad Hafiz bin Harun from Faculty of Mechanical and Manufacturing Technology Engineering FTKMP so in this presentation there are 10 outlines that are going to be discovered they are going to be explored. Firstly is the introduction, followed by problem statement, research objectives, research scopes, literature review, variable involves, methodology, expected outcomes, conclusion, and lastly references. Introduction. Army trucks plays an important role in our country defense operations. Besides carrying soldiers to the assigned location of interest, the trucks are also used for carrying supplies and weaponry needed for our troops. Logistic matters require the trucks to function properly so that it would not cause a setback in our country, defense, interest and strategy. But as many vehicles that are using the road and especially the army trucks that are, have to face some grueling topology in Malaysia, our geographical setbacks in Malaysia, so there are cases of army trucks that experience rollovers and cause fatalities and also injuries to the passengers and also the troops inside the army trucks. So here's a few pictures that I'm going to show. First is a case in Ranau on 13th March 2016 where an army truck uh, was um, experienced rollover due to sudden change of movement during steering on a steep hill. Secondly, uh, this is uh, from Punggai 8th March 2022 not so long ago at kilometer 16 Jalan Penawa. So the army trucks tries to avoid a cow that trying to pass through the road and experience rollover. Two were dead, two army, two soldiers died during this incident. Then here is a cut of news of army trucks that experience rollover. So the truck that we are going to explore today in my project the truck that is um, basically for the project uh, is the Handalan Army truck. The country of origin is from Malaysia. It entered service in 1996. It's, it uses a 4x4 configuration and a cap seating of 1 plus 2 men. So it weighs 5.8 tons and have a payload capacity of 3 tons. It uses an Isuzu 6HE1 diesel that produces 180 horsepower with maximum road speed of 105 km an hour. It is a collaboration between the RB Highcom and also Hino Trucks in making the Handala Army truck for the usage of Malaysian Army. Malaysia road accident factors in 2011 based on the paper is that 80.6% is caused by human error. 13.2% is caused by road condition and 62 is caused by vehicle condition. We are going to explore these three factors further down the presentation. So the problem statement. A rollover occurs when a vehicle crosses a true longitudinal or lateral axis of 90 degrees or more. When a vehicle loss, loses control of two wheels and rolls to one side, it is called a rollover. The maximum steering angle is shown for various vehicle speeds, tyre, road, friction coefficients and track width and it represents the condition for this truck to operate safely. Vehicle assistance devices such as the rollover warning device are recommended to lessen the human error factor that contributes to rollover. So the objectives of this research is to modify the rollover index algorithm for army truck, especially the Handalan model. To multiply the parameters of changeable rollover index algorithm for army trucks, to design and fabricate rollover warning device for army truck. Research scopes. There are four research scopes that are main, mainly highlighted in this research is that the rollover index method was created using the quickest time response suggested by prior studies. The specified rollover index methodology is changed to increase the rollover warning system's functionality. A modified rollover index technique with vehicle velocity and driver steering input is provided for bus rollover index optimization utilizing particle swarm optimization. A microcontroller is utilizing the design and build the rollover warning gadget. So this is the literature review of chapter 2. It indicates four subtopics and each subtopic is breakdown into furthermore sub-subtopics. 
an early warning indication, rollover index, implementation and testing, optimization tools. So firstly, we are going to see the types of rollover. So in my thesis, I stated there are four types of rollovers that happen during the steering of a uh, army truck. Firstly, is the ram rollover, which is caused by the vehicle moving perpendicular to the ground, which can be caused by slope, terrain, or the car centrifugal force. This fall rollover is caused when one side of the vehicle is not level with the other side of the vehicle, thus causing a rollover. This fall rollover in army truck cases is caused mainly by the terrain of rainforest in Malaysia where the army truck purpose is used for carrying troops and also supplies. Curb rollovers it occurs when the vehicle loses its balance when a curb lifts one side of the vehicle above the ground and soil rollover occurs when the car skids laterally and the tire collides with an obstruction or when the ground surfaces friction coefficient drastically changes. This type of rollovers is specifically I studied so that it matches the accidents that happen in the cases of army trucks. It cannot be compared to commercial trucks that mainly uses the road because army trucks uh, also uses the roads but also they experience harsh topography and geological terrain in operating types of rollover index there are two types of rollover index trip rollovers and untrip rollover trip rollovers occur when the vehicle tire makes contact with an object halting the vehicle's lateral motion and causing it to roll around the obstacle curbs pebbles soils and ramps are common tripping hazards Untrip rollover, on the other hand, is produced by steering input, velocity and ground friction. Extreme steering maneuvers, including J-hooks, rapid turns and lane changes all had a role in the collision. So, furthermore, static roll instability. Um, I had listed down four authors that state their mind in static roll instability. Firstly is Harun. Rollover measurements were first generated using static or steady state rollover models uh, as it is simple and easy to use in further research. La Popong, 2010, Static Stability Factor SSF is defined as the ratio of the vehicle's half track to the center of gravity's height, CG, based on the vehicle's half track. It is suitable for the studies on the dynamic of the handalan truck. Chechowick and Mavros, 2014, Static RI Rollover Index should be revised to include suspension effects. Exploring other possibility of RI suspension effects is made, full, made true by the paper that, pub, uh, that is published by these two authors. And Su and Chen, 2012. They suggest that it also may be used as an index in roll angle to identify rollover, not employed as a standalone index and is often employed as supplemental feature. So for the last paper, uh, further calculations needed to be done. And also testing in real life has not yet been done and tested. Dynamic roll instability. So the picture in the center is a rigid vehicle model uh, based on paper that was published by Goldman in 2001. The index is calculated by measuring the vertical forces of the left and right tires and activating the controller if the difference reaches a specified threshold according to the manufacturer's specification uh, based on Rajabani 2009 paper. Software in the loop. Stimulating software in the loop SIL can be done initially in the software making process. It allows tests to be run prior to the availability of hardware, allowing for the detection of defects. On the other hand, the accuracy of comprehensive computer models findings is largely dependent on the model type and supporting data. Hardware in the loop. Hardware in the loop is um, the picture that was shown is a um, hard it's a large sketch of hardware in the loop by Svensson and Grigier, 2009. Hardware in loop overcomes the difficulties and inaccuracies that occurred during development of the computer-based vehicle model. So hardware in the loop and software in the loop is closely related. No mathematical model of a vehicle is required when evaluating the hardware directly, which could introduce errors into the test. Particle swarm optimization. There are three authors. Uh, there are two authors. I've taken the quotes of PSO uh, uh, to be put in the presentation. El Sorbagi and Hassan Yen, 2018. PSO is widely acknowledged as a swarm intelligent concept and optimization approach and coined the term PSO 
PSO to describe it. Fish, bees, birds or any other natural entity that demonstrates swarming activity is referred to a particle. Next is Kennedy uh, for a paper published in 1999. Particle swarm optimization is an evolu evolutionary computing algorithm based on the intelligence of a swarm of particles. Genetic algorithm. Genetic algorithm, these algorithms have a rising number of applications in artificial intelligence, numeric and combinatorial optimization, business management, medical computer, science and engineering due to their high endurance to high complexity difficulties. Based on a paper posted by Chande and Sinha in 2014, and new individuals known as offspring are born, each of whom has certain qualities with each parent. Individuals who are the least fit in the group are less likely to be selected for reproduction and hence die out. Based on a paper published by Busetti in 2018. Next, we are going to look at end colony optimization. End colony optimization is a meta heuristic that solves complex combinatorial optimization problems at a higher level. The pheromone or smell trailing as well as the behavior of genuine ants who communicate via pheromones inspired ACO. ACO is based on indirect communication, communication among a colonial colony of simple agents termed artificial ants which is conciliated via artificial pheromone trails similar to the biological counterpart. So this is a ACO definition based on the paper published by Dorigo and Stutzel in 2010. But 10 years, about 20 years earlier, um, a paper published by Abdullah and Tajudin in 1991 suggested that end colony optimization is a meta heuristic based on the behavior of actual end colonies. One of the more recent meta heuristic techniques described is this one. End colony optimization is a recently proposed meta heuristic based on actual end colony behavior. It allows ants to find the minimal distance route between food sources and their colony. So we are going to look at chapter 3, which is methodology. So firstly, I'm going to share my flowchart, okay, the flowchart process. So this is a simple flowchart that explains the steps needed to be taken for this study for this semester and also next semester. So we start and literature review, evaluate rollover statement, modify rollover index, optimize, evaluate the time response, design and fabricate, report writing, and also end of the project. Gan chart. So this Gan chart is a Gan chart that I make for my PSM2 for my next semester, my target for the for each task given to be completed during week 1 until week 14. Report writing, introduction, literature review, methodology, simulation setting, result and conclusion, introduction, conclusion and recommendations is uh, the task is highlighted by the blue color in the table. So uh, I can monitor and also achieve my goals for the task that is going to be done for the next semester. So preliminary result. So for my project, we had done few a few basic thing, few basic things, which is we had firstly we had um, manufacture or we had created an algorithm to be put in in the Arduino for our rollover device. So the left picture, the uh, there's a RC truck there. The RC truck is used um, to simulate the actual experience, to simulate the actual experience when we are going to do the project at uh, actual army truck in the next semester. So any input such as steering and also movements of forward and reverse are recorded um, from this RC truck into the Arduino and also into the Simulink. Okay, the center picture is me fabricating the rollover device. My rollover device is 50% done and there need to be attachment to the electrical components such as Arduino, buzzer and also the wiring inside. I also need to adjust the algorithm so that the Arduino can work properly when put uh, or installed inside an actual army truck. So this is a list of references that was put in that was put inside this presentation. Okay, the end. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Karo Azri and also Mr. Rafi, Mr. Rafi. I hope that my presentation gives clear view of what my project is for this semester and the next semester. Thank you very much.